gangers had been cutting the lionside grass and cooking it. The fat controller sells the hay to hill farmers who want winter feed for their stock. At this time of year, when Percy comes back from the harbour, he stops where they have been cutting, the men load up his empty wagons and he pulls them to Farquhar. Toby then takes them to the hill where the farmers collect the hay from Toby's top station. When the wagons, the hay is covered to prevent the wind from blowing it about. But on the line side, it is stacked in the open air to dry. Whee! Percy gave his ghostly whistle. Don't be frightened, Thomas. It's just me, he laughed. Your ugly fuss is enough to frighten anyone, said Thomas crossly. You're like ugly indeed. I'm a green caterpillar with red stripes, continued Thomas firmly. You crawl like one too. Well, I don't. You who's have who has been late every afternoon this week? It's the hay. I can't help that, said Thomas. Time is time, and the fat controller expects me to keep it. I can't if you crawl around in hay until all hours. Green caterpillar indeed, fumed Percy. Everyone says I'm handsome. Well, at least nearly everyone. Anyways, my curves are better than Thomas's corners. He took his trucks to the harbour and spent the morning shunting. Thomas says I'm always late, he grumbled. I'm never late, at least only by a few minutes. What's that to Thomas? He can always catch up time further on. All the same, he and his driver decided to start early home. It was most unfortunate that, just before they did, a crate of treacle was upset over him. They wiped the worst off, but he was still very sticky when they puffed away. The wind rose as they puffed along. Soon it was blowing a gale. Look at, look at that, explained this driver. The wind caught a pile of hay, tossing it up over the track. The gangers tried to clear it. But more always came. The lion climbed here. Take a run for it, Percy, his driver advised. So, whistling warningly, 
Percy gathered speed. But the hay made the rail slippery and his wheels wouldn't grip. Time after time, he stalled with spinning wheels and he had to wait until the line ahead was clear before he could start again. The signalman climbed a telegraph pole. The station master paced the platform. Passengers fussed. Thomas seethed impatiently. Ten minutes late, I warned him. Passengers will complain. Oh, and the fat controller. The signalman shouted. The station master stood amazed and the passengers exclaimed and laughed as Percy approached. Sorry I'm late, Percy pounded. So I should hope, scolded Thomas. But he spoiled the effect as Percy drew alongside. Look what's crawled out of the hay, he laughed. What's wrong? Talk about hairy caterpillars, puffed Thomas as he started away. It was almost getting worth being late just to see you. Hmm. When they got home, Percy's driver showed him what he looked like in a mirror. Bust my buffers, explained Percy. No wonder they all laughed. I look just like a woolly bear. Please clean me before Toby sees me. But it was no good. Thomas had told Toby all about it. And instead of talking about sensible things like ghosts, Thomas and Toby instead made jokes about woolly bears, caterpillars and other creatures who like to crawl around in hay. They all thought this was very interesting, but Percy used thought they were being very silly.